welcome to uh, today class. Uh, in this class, we are going to discuss uh, Gram's uh, schematic process. This process, uh, this is a one of the tool. Basically, the given uh, matrix, suppose A is having a three, uh, four cross four matrix. They are having how many columns? Four columns. Each column is not a uh, orthogonal vector. Basically, the given matrix, each of the column or each of the row is not a uh, orthogonal vectors. If you want to convert orthogonal vectors, there we are using Gram schematic process. Therefore, Gram schematic process is a one of the tool to convert non-orthogonal vectors into orthogonal vectors. That is why we are today we are going to deal with Gram schematic process. This process is very much useful. Basically, the given vectors are not orthogonal vectors. I mean, the, we had to take V1, V2, V3 set of orthogonal uh, set of vectors is not a ortho, uh, uh, orthogonal set. If we want to convert orthogonal set, then we are using Gram schematic process. Now, how to obtain this process? First, I am going to explain. After that, I am going to solve problems. Not only I have to convert into orthogonal uh, set of vectors, it is possible to convert ortho normal vectors also. Once we get orthogonal uh, vectors, then we have to take the normalize that vector that give rise orthonormal vectors that is all. Now, first we are going to explain basically this method is this process is convert a given uh, non uh, orthogonal vectors into ortho orthogonal vectors. From that we have to normalize we get a orthonormal vectors. Yeah. Now, here if you want to know suppose having a some set of vectors say uh, having x 1 comma x 2 comma x 3 etcetera x n this is a set of vector they given either may be each of the vector may be a row vector or column vector does not matter. Now, these vectors are not a orthogonal, it is not orthogonal vectors. Now, I want to convert orthogonal vectors, then we are using Gram schematic process, how to convert. Now, here basically the given vectors we are taking x, uh, x 1, x 2, x 3. Now, we cannot take same notation, I am going to take v 1 first vector v 1 must be equal to x 1. This is a way we are applying the algorithm for a Gram schematic process. v 2 is nothing but now we are what is our uh, aim? We are going to convert non orthogonal vectors to vectors. Therefore, we are finding v 1 is nothing but first vector of the given first uh, given vector. v 2 now we are finding this v 2 is must be orthogonal to v 1. Therefore, using uh, orthogonal projection formula x 2 minus proj of proj of x 2 with respect to v 1, because we already calculated which one v 1. We are finding v 2, v 2 must be uh, proj, uh, orthogonal to which one v 1. Therefore, x 2 minus proj of x 2 with respect to v 1 means nothing but x 2 minus you know what is a formula we discussed in the yesterday class means the last class x 2 comma v 1 divided by inner product of v 1 comma v 1 into v 1 into x 2 uh, into v 1 sorry into v 1. This is the formula for projection of x 2 with respect to v 1. You already worked out so many problems in the previous class also. And also similarly from that I think is clear v 3. Now, before v 3 what are the vectors you already have v 1, v 2. Now, we have to calculate x 3 based on v 1, v 2 we are taking a projection. We have to subtract that projection project proj of x 3 with respect to v 1 minus proj of what are the vectors you already calculated new vector had to subtract the projection value x 3 with respect to v 2 is nothing but what is the formula x 3 minus inner product of x 3 comma v 1 divided by inner product of v 1 comma v 1 into v 1 a minus inner product of x 3 comma v 2 divided by inner product of v 2 comma uh, v 2 into v 2. This is a formula for finding a new orthogonal vector. This ortho vector definitely is orthogonal to v 1 and v 2 because we are calculating based on uh, what actually v 1, v 2 along with the given vector x 3 means mainly we are using a formula for projection orthogonal projection formula. 
Now, in the similarly, you know that what is V4, not necessary to write V4. V4 is nothing but what? X4 minus proj of X4 with respect to V1 minus X4 proj of V2 minus proj of X4 with respect to V3 because we already calculated V1, V2, V3 and so on. So, on what is my Vn? Because how many vectors are considered basically they given non orthogonal vectors are X, Xn. Therefore, we are expecting the new vectors are V1, V2, etcetera, Vn is nothing but the last one Xn minus uh, uh, proj of X4, yeah, proj of Xn with respect to V1 minus proj of Xn with respect to V2, we calculated what are the previous up to Vn minus 1. Therefore, minus proj of Xn uh, Vn minus 1. Suppose you write it the formula here, what we get finally Vn is Xn minus proj means inner product of Xn comma V1 uh, divided by inner product of V1 comma V1, you know the projection formula into V1 minus inner product of Xn comma V2 divided by inner product of V2 comma V2 into uh, V2 like that uh, minus like that inner product of Xn comma Vn minus 1 divided by inner product of V n minus 1 comma V n minus 1 into V n minus 1. Now, just remember this general formula. Yeah, this is a generalization of that. Now, once you put n, uh, uh, n is equal to 1, so the first value there is no previous uh, V 1, therefore, we only we get x 1. And then V2 onwards, we get uh, put n is equal to uh, 2, then we get uh, x2 minus this, you do not get it the rest of the thing. Now, this is a formula to use to convert non orthogonal vectors to orthogonal. Once you apply this formula, you find out V1, V2, V3, etcetera, Vn, definitely these set of vectors are becomes an orthogonal set of vectors. Now, once you calculate these set of sequence of vectors A, V1, uh, V2, etcetera, Vn are nothing but we get from uh, Gram's commit process is uh, we get orthogonal vectors. We get these vectors are called actually uh, orthogonal Gram's schematic orthogonalization. These vectors are called Gram schematic orthogonalization. Lization vectors. Okay, vectors. And next, once you normalize, normalize means u1 must be equal to v1 divided by norm of v1. Normalize means this is a formula you already know that in vector uh, vector calculus in vectors. And also normalize means u2 is nothing but u2 because you cannot take same vector. And if you want to identify normalize, therefore I use different notation u1, u2, norm of v2, etcetera. What is un? Un is equal to v, uh, v, vn divided by norm of vn. These vectors, what we have u1, u2, u3 vectors are nothing but orthonormal vectors. You know what is the meaning of orthonormal? See, inner product between uh, what is orthonormal? Uh, inner product of ui, comma uj uh, equal to 0 for i is not equal to j and then 1 for i is equal to j. Yeah, this normalized vector is satisfied this. Now, so automatically we get corresponding orthonormal uh, vectors. These vectors are called orthonormalization vectors for Gram's committed process. Gram's committed process of uh, orthonormal normalization vectors. This is orthog orthogonalization vectors, these are orthonormalization vectors. Totally, why you need to study for Gram's committed process, this one of the beautiful tool to convert basically the given vectors are non orthogonal vectors. Then, if you want to convert, we are using Gram's committed process to convert the uh, given ortho, non orthogonal vectors to orthogonal vectors, and uh, from the orthogonal vectors is possible to find out orthonormal vectors, just you have to take corresponding normalizing vectors. This is a way I to find out orthogonal non orthogonal vectors to 
orthogonal vectors. Now, I am going to solve a problem based on that. Once you solve the problem, then is clearly understand how we get uh, the vector, how is worked out the Gram schmidt process. Actually, this process is very important in module 4 also. While uh, singular value decomposition everywhere, basically is not orthogonal, keep in mind how to convert using this process only. Okay? Now, we are uh, going to solve a uh, problems based on that. first problem using gram schmidt process okay find an orthogonal basis for w is equal to span of x 1 comma x 2 comma x 3 in r power 3, because each that shows each x 1 x 2 x 3 having 3 components. If x 1 is 1 2 0, x 2 is 8 1 6, minus 6 and x 3 equals 0, 0, 1. Yeah. x 1 is 1, 2, 0, x 2 is 8, 1, minus 6, x 3 is 0, 0, 1. Now, first observe before move to the next step, the given vectors of uh, what actually column wise are row vector, row vector or column vector, it is a column vector, you know how to apply the inner product. Suppose the vectors are column, what is the inner product of a, u comma v is nothing but u transpose into v. Suppose the given vectors are row vector, just you take u dot v is already discussed in the beginning of uh, inner product space class. Okay? Now, we are moving to the next step. In this uh, case, now basically if you want to identify, uh, just verify it. Uh, the, the basically, the given vectors are not necessary to verify while doing a problem in the te, e, te exam, but I am showing that how, uh, whether is uh, orthogonal or not, uh, orthogonal vectors are not, inner product of x 1 comma x 2 is nothing but x 1 transpose into x 2, just I am showing for my uh, interest 1 to 0 and then uh, what is that 8 1 minus 6, you multiply that we get 8. Okay plus 2, 0. We get 10. Now, x 1, x 2 is not uh, orthogonal, it is not equal to 0, not necessary to verify the rest of the vectors. If you want to verify the rest of the vectors, what is that x 1 comma x 3? What is x 1 comma x 3? x 1 transpose into x 3 is nothing but 1, 2, 0 into what is uh, x 3 is 0, 0, 1. If you want to calculate, now here we get 0. So, you observe carefully x 1 is orthogonal to x 3, but uh, is not orthogonal to rest. If we want to calculate x 2 and x 3, okay? x 2 and x 3, what is x 2 and x 3? Uh, x 2 transpose into x 3, what is x 2 transpose? Uh, 8 1 minus 6, okay, fine, 0 0 1, what is that? We get minus 6 is not equal to 0, this also not equal to 0. Is it clear? Only x 1 is orthogonal to x 3, okay? but x 1 is not orthogonal to x 2. Keep in mind, x 1 is orthogonal vector means x 1 must be inner product of x 1 with the x 2, x 1 with x 3 is 0 means x 1 x 2, x 1 x 3 is 0, then we say that x 1 is orthogonal vector, because it is orthogonal to both x 2 x 3, because that inner product value is 0. But here what happened, inner product of x 1 comma x 2 is not equal to 0, but inner product of x 1 comma x 3. Then we cannot say that x 1 is an orthogonal vector. Is why? Because only with 2 x 2 is 0, but x 3 is not 0. Okay? Do not confuse that. 
observe x2 is not orthogonal to what actually x3 also. See observe. Therefore, we treated x1, x2, x3 are non orthogonal vectors. Now, most of the students feel here 0, y. See, you know that x, uh, x1 is orthogonal vector means it must be inner product with x2 and x3 must be 0, but it is not equal to 0 in both the case, 1 case 0. Therefore, we treated these 3 vectors are <coughs> non, just I am showing this, not necessary to write it in the solution, okay, non orthogonal vectors. Now, what, how to apply uh, uh, from which process they given uh, Gram schematic process only without mention also you go for this. Okay. What is this process says? V1, we are taking new notation, V1 must be equal to the given x1. What is my x1 is 1 to 0, 1 to 0. What is V2? V2 is nothing, but you already know that uh, x2 minus projection of a projection of uh, what actually uh, 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 x2 with respect to v1 means x2 comma v1 divided by inner product of v1 comma v1 into v1 okay and also write the formula for v3 because only three vectors what is v3 x3 minus projection of x3 with respect to v1 and also with respect to v2 because we calculated already, we already known that v1 and v2. Therefore, uh, inner product of x3 comma v1 divided by inner product of v1 comma v1 into v1 minus projection means what x3 with respect to v2, v2 uh, divided by inner product of v2 comma v2 into v2 into v2. Into v2. Now, is clear this part. Now, if you want to find out these values, what are the inner product values required? First, you find out with the help of the given vectors. So, for first you calculate inner product of what actually x2 comma v1. That is a column vector. This can be written as x2 transpose into v1. What is x2 transpose? 8, 1, minus 6 into v1. What is v1? 1, 2, 0. You multiply row into column 8, okay, plus 2, plus 0. What we get actually? 10. You get the first value of uh, whatever uh, x, uh, this value is nothing but 10. And next I want to find out inner product of v1 comma v1 is nothing but v1 transpose into v1. What is v1 transpose? 1 to 0 row vector into column vector 1 to 0. What we get? 1 square 1, 2 square is 4 plus 0. What we get? 5. Okay. The next we calculate what, what we are going to do? You know these values immediately we get V2 value, right? Immediately we get V2 value. Okay. What is my V2 value? V2 formula V2 must be equal to X2. What is my X2? 8. Okay. 1, 8, 1 and minus 6 is a column vector minus inner product of x2 comma v1. What is inner product of x2 comma v1 is 10 divided by inner product of v1 comma v1 just now we calculated that, that is 5 into v1. What is v1 is 1 to 0. Yeah. Now, what we are going to uh, simplify 10? Two. What we get actually 8, okay, 1 minus 6 minus of take 2 inside 2, 4, 0. Simplify that. What we get finally V2 is 8 minus 2. What we are doing a row vector, similar way you have to take a subtraction between the component wise, first component, second component. 8 minus 2, 6, 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus 6 minus 0 is minus 6. This is a value for V2. Okay. Yes. Next, we are going to calculate V2 is over V1. We know that we have to calculate V3. If we want to calculate V3, what are the values required in a product? First, you find out. First, I required which value in a product of x3 comma V1. Yeah. What is x? That is nothing but what's a formula? It's a column vector x3 transpose into V1. Okay. What is my x3 value? 0, 0, 1. Transpose means column becomes row into V1. What is V1? 1, 2, 0. Multiply that. 0 into 1, 
0 into 2, then finally we get what is uh, uh, x 3 transpose the value we, uh, we get actually 0. No, yeah, 0. And also we calculate inner product of, we know already inner product of v 1 comma v 1, you neglect it. I to calculate which value inner product of x 3 comma v 2 is nothing but x 3 transpose into v 2. What is x 3 transpose? 0, 0, 1 of what is uh, v 2? v 2 just now we calculated 6 minus 3 minus 6. Simplify that 0 into 6, 0, my 0 into minus 3, 0, 1 into minus 6 is minus 6. Therefore, inner product of x 3 comma v 2 is what actually minus 6 and also lastly we calculate inner product of v 2 comma v 2. Uh, we do not want v 1 comma v 1, we already have v 2 v 2 transpose into v 2. What is my v 2? This is, this is my v 2, transpose means rho. 6 minus 3 minus 6 into same thing, 6 minus 3 minus 6. What we get actually multiply that 36, 6, 6 are 36 minus into minus plus 9, okay, and then uh, minus into minus plus 36. Now, finally, for uh, V2 comma V2, add these values, uh, what we get actually 81. Now, uh, 12, 21 and then 681, 81 is the value. Then we have to calculate what actually V3. What is V3? V3 is nothing but, what is a v, V3 here? V3 is nothing but the formula X3. What is my X3? 0, 0, 1 minus R. Inner product of X3 comma V1. What is inner product of X3 comma V1 is 0. Please observe here, this is 0 divided by anything is non-zero value must be inner product of V1 comma V1, we calculated 5 into uh, what is x3? What is x3 is 0, 0, 1. This is what happens 0 minus inner product of x3 comma V2 is minus 6 divided by uh, inner product of V2 comma V2, we calculated that value is 81 of x3, uh, v2. Oh, this is not uh, x3 actually, v1. What is v1 actually? 1, 2, 0, but anyway this is 0, v2. What is my v2 is 6 minus 3 minus 6, okay. Please carefully substitute properly. This is 0, you know that this is 0. Why is 0? 0 by 5 is 0, 0 into non-zero value must be 0. We have to neglect it. Once you neglect the uh, value for this and next we are going to uh, substitute these values where we are going to substitute here, we are neglecting. Now, what we get actually? V3 is 0, 0, 1 minus, uh, minus into minus what we get actually plus, okay. Now, observe carefully. Now, I have to simplify this, you take uh, which value? 8 by 6, 81. Now, before going to take a, a 6 by 81, 6 by 81 can also be written as uh, uh, 3, 2s are 6, 3, 2s are uh, 6 and uh, uh, 3, 7s are uh, we get 2 by 27. Once you take 2 by 27 inside the bracket, simplify that. Now, again uh, 3 cancel with uh, 7 and then 2, 4 by 9 we get. Please try to understand 6 by 81 is 2 by 27 multiplied by 6. Multiplied by 6, what happen? Uh, again, uh, multi, uh, multiplied by six, uh, 3 2s are 3 9s are 2 to 4, 4 by 9. And then uh, multiplied with minus 3, multiplied by uh, minus 3, what we get actually 3 1s are 3 9s are what we get minus 2 by 9. This is same thing we get minus 4 by 9. You simplify this, uh, we get what I have to add 4 by 9, okay, and then minus 2 by 9, okay, and then 1 minus 4 by 9, 1 minus 4 by 9, you take LCM and simplify, 9 minus 4, 5 by 9, 5 by 9 we get, okay, 5 by 9. This is my V3, this is my V3, yeah. 
I think everyone is clear how we get V1, V2, V3. I do not have a space on the board, therefore, I am going to re remove some space and then I am going to verify what happened V1, V2, V3, whether it is orthogonal or not. I think is everyone is clear from the Gramsci committed process, we calculated V1, V2, V3. Keep in mind, you find out V1, after V2 find out, without V2 you cannot find out V3. Therefore, immediately what are the required for V2? First you calculate inner product value and substitute simplify V2 and then move to V3 like that and similar V4 also. In the next step, now we have V1, V2, V3. Therefore, now I am going to remove this space because I want to verify it. Okay. Okay. Now, I am going to write what is my V1. What is my V1? Uh, V1 is uh, 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 1, 2, 0. What is my V2? V2 is nothing but what? Uh, just now we calculated 6 minus 3 minus 6 and V3 is what actually? Uh, 4 by 9 minus, uh, sorry, 2 minus 2 by 9 and minus 4 by 9. Yeah. Now, I want to calculate what is inner product of these values, inner product of V1 comma V3, V2, what is that? V1 transpose into V2, V1 is 1, 2, 0 and then 6 minus 3 minus 6, okay. What do we get actually? 6, 3 twos are minus uh, 6 minus 6, but 6 into 0 is 0, then we get 0. Inner product of V1 v1 with respect to v, v3. What is that? V, uh, v1 transpose into v3 is 1, 2, 0 into v3. What is v3 actually? Uh, uh, this is a v3, 4 by 9, okay, 4 by 9, uh, minus 2 by 9, minus 4 by 9, multiply it. Once you multiply that, I will write it here. Uh, for 1 into 4 by 9 is 4 by 9, 2 into minus 2 by minus 4 by 9, but 0 into 4 by 9 is 0, therefore we get 0. Okay? Now, in the next step, we have to find out what happened. Yeah, we already known that V1 with V2, V3, therefore V1 is an orthogonal vector. Now, we have to verify what is inner product of the remaining V2 and V3 is nothing but V2 transpose into V3. What is V2? We already written the board. Uh, write it in the row form 6 minus 3 and minus 6, yes, and then we have to take uh, V3. V3 is what 4 by 9 minus 2 by 9 and uh, minus 4 by 9, okay. Now we have to take row into column. What we get actually? Uh, we have to multiply uh, 24 by 9, okay, fine. This is minus into minus plus, yeah, mm, yeah, uh, just a minute, uh, this is, uh, yeah, 6, 4 by 9, uh, minus into uh, minus, what we get actually, uh, 4 by 9, uh, 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 just a minute, uh, 6 minus 6, this is actually, uh, yeah, I return a wrong here, one minute, what is a wrong I return? 5 by 9, not 4 by 9, sorry. This is a value. This is a v, uh, V3 value. What is V3? 4 by 9, minus 2 by 9, 5 by 9. Now, not in a, uh, do not a uh, problem for this because this is last value 0. Please uh, make one point, I did mistake. What is V3? 4 by 9, minus 2 by 9, 5 by 9, but I taken by, by mistake uh, five, two, 4 by 9. Please make a change. V1 in a product of V3. V3, 4 by 9, 2 by 9, 5 by 9, not an issue because we get same answer because 0 into 5 by 9 is 0 only, therefore we get that. Now, here I have to write 5 by 9, okay, fine. Now, multiply this 26 fours are 24 plus 9, minus into minus plus 6 by 9, plus into minus is minus 30 by 9, what we get actually 0. Now, observe inner product of between V1 with respect to V2, V3 0, V2 and V3 0 because V3, V2 must be same because in the inner product space, inner product of UV must be equal to v, uh, U, uh, VU. Therefore, therefore what? V1 comma V2 comma V3 are 
orthogonal set or orthogonal non zero vectors yeah because observe carefully vectors observe each of the vector not all the components zero in any one of the vector they are all non zero vectors we already discussed in the previous class whenever they having a orthogonal uh, orthogonal set of orthogonal set of non zero vectors that form a orthogonal basis we already discussed the result we derived on the board in the previous classes suppose you forgotten you look into the second class of uh, in a product space what uh, i discuss you then again recall and come back see observe these vectors are non orthogonal set of non zero vectors therefore from that result it form a basis what basis orthogonal basis therefore uh, what they given uh, the answer we use equal to span of that uh, is a form a orthogonal basis which one is orthogonal basis with the set of vector v1 v2 v3 is form a orthogonal basis of w i think is clear everyone only it is enough to find out whether the orthogonal set of non zero vectors are not from this using gram scheme immediate process immediately we get that form a orthogonal basis this is completes the uh, then you are right therefore this it is form a orthogonal basis that is the next slide therefore it is form a orthogonal basis that is all okay now move to one problem based on orthonormal basis orthonormal basis usually is they are not going to ask the question suppose they are going to ask how to do it therefore i am going to do it on the one bo problem on the board based on orthonormal because in orthonormal also we are finding orthogonal okay next second problem apply gram schematic process to the to b is equal to 1 0 1 comma 1 0 minus 1 0 3 4 of the inner product space of r power of 3 in set of real numbers with each one having a component is 3 to find an orthonormal basis basis of r power of 3 okay now uh, to take a solution for this first if you want to find orthonormal basis also first you find out orthogonal basis first you have to find out what orthogonal basis how to find out orthogonal now apply this problem from this process from gram simulate process okay what is my now um, for my convenient what they given in the problem i take it as x1 i take it as x2 take it as x3 that's all now uh, v1 is nothing but x1 v2 is nothing but i have to find out the uh, vector based on v1 therefore x2 minus proj of x2 with respect to v1 means inner product of x2 comma v1 divided by inner product of v1 comma v1 into v1 okay and also i have to write v3 what is v3 
x3 based on v1 v2 and therefore inner product of x3 comma v1 plus job divided by v1 comma v1 into v1 minus in a product of x3 comma v2 divided by in a product of v2 comma v2 into v2 okay this is a thing we want to find out now i told in the previous uh, uh, problem first what are the required first you find out but we get immediately what is v1 what is v1 x1 what is x1 they given rho rho vector 1 0, 1, they given a row vector. 1, 0, 1 is a row vector, 1 minus 1, 1, 0, minus 1 and 0, 3, 4, okay. Next, we want to find out uh, <coughs> V2, first you find out what actually inner product of, what are the values, x2 comma V1, I want to find out. Means, here observe carefully, therefore, purposefully I have taken this problem. This is a row vector, therefore, what is our formula for inner product, x2 dot v1. What is my x2 is value is uh, uh, you know that 1, 0, minus 1 into v1, 1, 0, 1, okay. Now, what do we get actually 1 plus 0 minus 1, we get 0. Now, inner product of uh, what is the value x2 comma v1, we get 0, do not worry. And next we are moving to what actually inner product of v1 comma v1. What is inner product of v1 comma v1 is v1 dot v1 is nothing but 1 0 1 dot dot products 1 0 1. We get actually 1 plus 0 plus 1, we get 2. Now, from this, from this what is v2? v2 is nothing but x2. What is x2 here? 1 0 minus 1 minus r, minus r, inner product of x2 comma v1 is 0 divided by this value 2 into v1. What is v1? 1, 0, 1. What we get actually? v2 is nothing but x2 itself because this ratio is 0, therefore that uh, quantity 0. Here we get v2 itself is nothing but x2 only. Okay. Now, in the next step, I want to find out uh, V3. How to find out V3? First, you calculate what is inner product of X3 comma V1. What is inner product of X3 V1 is nothing but X3 dot V1. What is X3 value? 0, 3, 4 into V1. What is a dot V1? V1 is 1, 0, 1. You multiply it. What we get? 0, 1, 0 into 1 is 0, 3 into 0 is 0. We get 4. 1 into 4 is 4. And next you take inner product of what value? V2 comma V2, uh, sorry, you want to find out x3 comma V2 also. It's nothing but x3 dot V2. What is x3? 0, 3, 4 and then dot. What is V2? What is V2 here? 1 comma 0 minus 1. What is that value? It's nothing but multiply that 0. Okay, fine. 3 into 0 is 0 and then 4 minus 4, we get minus 4 is the x3 v2 value. Okay. And then uh, x3 v2 value is uh, actually uh, minus 4, okay, fine. The next we are going to calculate uh, inner product of v2 comma v2 because you already have v1 comma v, v1 is nothing but v2 dot v2. What is v2 here? Just now we calculate 1 comma 0 minus 1 dot 1 comma 0 minus 1. Multiply that. 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 minus into minus plus we get 1, we get 2. Once we get these values, now we have to calculate what is my v, uh, v3. V3 is nothing but x3. x3 is what? 0, 3 and 4 minus inner product of x3 comma v1 what is x3 comma v1 is 4 okay divided by inner product of v1 comma v1 is 2 into v1 what is v1 1 comma 0 1 minus inner product of x3 comma v2 is minus 4 divided by inner product of v2 comma v2 just now we calculated that value also 2 yes now we get 2 of 
v2. What is v2 here? We all written 1 comma 0 minus 1. Simplify that. Therefore, v3 is nothing but 0, 3, 4, 4 1s are 4 2s are, sorry, 4 1s are 2, 2 1s are 2 2s are, what do we get? 2, we take it inside 2 comma 0 comma 1 minus into minus plus, again we get 2, okay, 2 comma 0 minus 1. Now, I have to simplify, what is v3? Add the first component 0, minus 2 plus 2, what do we get? 0. Second component 3 minus 0 plus 0, we get 3. 4 minus 1 plus 4 minus 1 minus 1, we get 2. Now, V3, what we get actually? Uh, V3 is nothing but uh, here we are, ah, yeah. Now, I did one mistake, you please uh, make it this, yeah, observe here. Yeah. Minus into minus plus 2, take 2 inside the bracket means what? I have to multiply each of the component 2, 0, uh, 2 into minus 1 is minus 2. I did mistake, you please uh, make a correction. And then uh, what we get actually? Uh, here also, while taking uh, 2 inside the bracket, yeah, 4 1, uh, 2 1s are 2 2s are 2 0 2, yeah, 2 0 2, okay. 0 minus 2 plus 2, we get uh, uh, 0. 3 minus 0 plus 0, 3. 4 minus 2 minus 2, what we get? 0. 4 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4, we get 0. Therefore, what is V3? V3 is 0, 3, 0. Now, I have to verify whether these V1, V2, V3 are uh, orthogonal or not. First, I have to verify it. Okay? Now, uh, now, I have to find out what is inner product of V1, comma V2. It is nothing but V1 dot V2. What is V1? Just now we calculated, this is my V1, this is my V2, this is my V3. Uh, 1, 0, 1 dot into 1, 0, minus 1. Multi use the dot product, 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0 and then 1 into minus 1, 1 plus 0 minus 1, we get 0. Okay. And then I have to find out what is the inner product of V1 with V2, V3 is nothing but v1 dot v3. What is v1? 1, 0, 1, we already know that dot v3, 0, 3, comma 0. 1 into 0, 0, plus 0 into 3, 0, 1 into 0, 0, finally we get 0. I have to calculate what is the inner product of v2, comma v3. What is that actually? v2 dot v3. What is v2? Uh, 1, 0, minus 1 and then dot 0, 3, 0. Multiply that 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 3, 0, minus 1 into 0 is 0, sum of 0 is 0 only. Now, we get V1, the set of vectors say uh, V1, okay, comma V2, comma V3 is an orthogonal set of non-zero vectors. Therefore, it form a which basis? Orthogonal basis. I do not want orthogonal, it, for, it implies, it forms orthogonal basis. I do not want orthogonal basis, I want to find out what? orthonormal basis. Therefore, I have to find out orthogonal, orthonormal vectors, orthonormal set I have to find out. Therefore, I am going to uh, uh, remove this part because I want to continue the further. Yeah, I am going to write what are my first V1, V2, V3. After that, I will continue. What is my V1? It is 1, 0, 1. What is my V2? 1, 0, 1. It is 1, 0, 1. What is V3? V3 is nothing but 0, 3, 0. Okay. The next is I have to verify it whether is an ortho orthonormal vectors, non-zero vectors or not. Therefore, what we are going to do? I have to normalize. While doing normalize, we are using some new vectors. We can't, we can't take V1, V2, V3. We are going to confuse. You take U1, U2, U3. Take any 
vectors are other than x1, x2, x3, v1, v2, v3. Now, I am going to take u1 is nothing but v1 divided by norm of v1. This is called normalized. What is u2? We are doing normalized for the v1, v2, v3. v2 divided by norm of v2. u3 is nothing but v3 divided by norm of v3. It's okay, fine. The next is from this, I want to find out what is u1, u2, u3. Is it, now, I think everyone is clear for this part. Now, I want to find out u1, u2, u3 for this, how to proceed, that is a thing. Now, here I want to find out uh, the uh, these values. First, you find out nor, uh, v norm of v1 value. What is the norm of v1 value? Square root of in a product of v1 comma v1 is nothing but square root of uh, what actually v1 dot v1, okay, is nothing but square root of v1 dot uh, v1 means 1 square okay, plus 0 square plus 1 square, what we get root 2. Similarly, I have to find out norm of v2. What is norm of v2? It is root of in a, from the definition of norm in a product of v2 comma v2 is nothing but square root of v2 dot v2 is nothing but square root of 1 square 0 square minus 1 whole square. What we get actually here also we get two, root 2. Norm of v3 is nothing but square root of from the definition of norm in a product of v3 comma v3 is nothing but square root of v3 dot v3 means square of the each of the components 0 square plus 3 square plus 0 square root of 9 is nothing but 3. Now, these are the values for the norm values. Okay. From this norm, I to uh, uh, write what is my u1, u2, u3. I am going to write it u1, u2, u3 here only. Okay, fine u1, u2, u3 here. Now, from this, what is u1? u1 is nothing but v1. What is v1? Divided by norm of v1. Norm of v1 is 1 uh, root 2, therefore, 1 by root 2 into uh, 1, 0, 1. This can also be written as 1 by root 2, comma 0, 1 by root 2. Similarly, u2 is nothing but norm of v2, what is norm 1 by root 2, that comes in denominator, they will write it 1 by root 2, because in the denominator, what is a v2 is 1, 0, minus 1, what we get 1 by root 2, 0, minus 1 by root 2, okay. Next, try to find out u3, what is u3 here, norm of 1 by norm of v3 is means 1 by 3, 1 by 3 of, what is the value for uh, v3, 0, 3, 0. What we get actually? 0, take uh, 1 by 3 instead, 0, 1, 0 is so my u3 value. Okay. Next, we have to calculate uh, whether it is an orthonormal vectors or not. How to calculate whether it is an orthonormal vectors or not? I have to find out uh, inner product, inner product of u1 comma u2. What is inner product of u1 comma u2 is u1 dot u2. What is u1? Uh, 1 by root 2. 0, 1 by root 2, okay. And then dot, what is uh, u2 is 1 by root 2, 0 minus 1 by root 2, multiply it. 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 is 1 by 2, okay, fine. 0 into 0 is 0, okay, minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, 1 minus 1 by 2, plus of minus cancel, we get 0. Inner product of u1 comma u3 is nothing but u1 dot u3 is nothing but what is u1? 1 by root 2, 0, 1 by root 2, okay, dot u3. u3 just now we calculated 0, 1, 0. Yes. What is that actually? The value is multiply 1 by root 2 into 0 is 0 uh, and also 0 into 1 is 0 and then last value 0, we get finally 0. I have to find out what is the inner product of u2 comma u3. What is the inner product of u2 comma u3 is u2 dot u3. What is u2 value? u2 value is 1 by root 2, yes, 0 minus 1 by root 2 dot u3, 0, 1, 0. Multiply that, definitely each and component 0, this also 0. Then u1, u2, u3 are uh, ortho, orthogonal set of non-zero vectors, but I want to know that orthonormal set, therefore, I have to find out norm of u1. What is the norm of u1? 
is nothing but uh, is means in a, I to find out uh, not norm of inner product of u1 comma u1 means you know that what is the meaning of ortho nor, ortho normal set. Uh, inner product of u i comma u j is ortho normal vectors means equal to 0 for i is not equal to j, 1 for i is equal to j. We verified this part, still I want to verify this means inner product of u 1 comma u 1. What is inner product of u 1 comma u 1 is u uh, 1 dot u 1. What is u 1? 1 by root 2 plus sorry comma 0 1 by root 2 dot 0 1 by root 2 comma 0 1 by root 2. What we get actually? 1 by 2 plus 0 plus 1 by 2. We get 1. What we are expecting? 1 only. Next, in a product of u2 comma u2 is u2 dot u2 is nothing but 1 by root 2 comma 0 minus 1 by root 2 write it twice 1 by root 2 comma 0 minus 1 by 2 observe carefully just I am doing uh, orally multiplication because 1 by root 2 is very simple 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 is 1 by 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 whole square what we get minus into minus plus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 we get 1, yeah. And then in a product of u3 comma u3 means u3 dot u3 is nothing but 0 1 0 dot 0 1 0. Just multiply the corresponding component definitely we get 1 0 1 0 we get, okay. Now this is a thing uh, you know that uh, see uh, corresponding to that uh, we get actually uh, uh, the thing is uh, what what we get actually here u3 uh, comma u3 is what actually uh, 0 u3 uh, comma u3 we get 1 in a product of u2 comma u2 we get uh, uh, you get uh, uh, 1 and u1 in a product of u1 comma u1 is uh, uh, 1. Now we get 1 this shows that the set of vectors u1 comma u2 comma u3 is an is an orthonormal orthonormal set of non zero vectors you know that see observe you were uh, these uh, u1 u2 and u3 at least one of the component in each of the case is not zero if i say set of non zero vectors from that results it implies it forms a it forms ortho orthonormal basis. I think it is clear everyone this problem is covered both orthogonal basis and also orthonormal basis. This way I have to find out that is why now is clear why are given so much important for this result. Suppose the given vectors are no orthogonal set of non-zero vectors that form a, uh, a linear independent and also basis. Based on that concept it is whenever you want to verify is orthonormal basis or orthogonal basis he said it is enough to verify whether the vectors are orthogonal set of non-zero vectors or orthogonal set of non-zero orthonormal set of non-zero vectors that implies corresponding basis. I think everyone is clear for this. Thank you. Uh, I will come and explain uh, in the next class QR factorization that is the last topic in fourth module. Thank you.